real engineers don't quit. They don't give up. People think that engineers are just people who are incredibly gifted, people who are smart, but there's more to it. It's not just about being smart. It's not just about being smart. I have known countless engineers, both friends I had who studied engineering when I was an undergraduate and ended up with jobs, careers, families. They have happy lives and they are successful. These are people who were in my classes. And then as a teacher, I had students who were studying engineering and ended up with jobs, careers, and great lives. And then I have friends who I've worked out with at the gym who work as engineers and many who are retired engineers. I've known a lot of engineers who worked for Boeing who are now retired and they have good lives. And the one commonality between all of these people, the students who were my classmates, the students who were my students, the friends I've had, and the retired engineers, the one commonality that all of these engineers have is not that they're smart or incredibly gifted, because they are smart, but I would say many of them just have average intelligence. It's that they don't give up. They don't quit. You know, when I was a student, I had these friends from India and I remember they invited me to their apartment once. And so I went over there. We were supposed to have a study session. And I walked into their apartment and they didn't have any furniture. And it was hot. And I didn't say anything about the heat. I didn't want to be rude. But I discovered later it's that they were trying to save money. So they didn't have any furniture. And they kept the AC off. They were doing their homework on the floor. These guys were smart, but I wouldn't say they were geniuses, but they were very smart and they were very gifted, smart people, slightly above average. And they both finished, they both became electrical engineers and they have great lives today. They didn't give up, they didn't quit, no matter how hard the classes got. And let me tell you, I think that engineering is a harder major than math. Those engineering classes are ridiculous. The expectations that many professors have for these engineers, in my view, it's, it's just, I just feel so much harder than math or physics. But real engineers don't quit, you know? Just like my friends from India doing math on the floor, doing their homework for engineering on the floor. It was Laplace transforms they were working on. Stuff I had never seen, even as a math major. They were doing math that I didn't even see as a math major. So engineers do really hard advanced stuff. People don't, don't realize that. And it's about not giving up, you know, just like my friends doing homework on the floor. A lot of the guys I used to work out with at my old gym were retired engineers. And these guys, I mean, I would say they're average intelligence. I wouldn't say they're super geniuses, but they had grit. They had determination. They'd go to the gym. They'd train every day. These guys were tough. I think to be an engineer, it's not just about being smart. You gotta have grit, you gotta have determination, you have to want it. And I think that's the only way to make it, to be honest. I mean, some of these classes that engineers have to take, I mean, some of the homework assignments they have, the projects, I'm sure the teacher might say, oh, it's easy, but a lot of times the teachers don't explain everything in detail and it's up to you as the student, as the engineering student to struggle and in some sense, suffer through it. Engineers have a rep for being hardcore. And I think part of that rep comes from the grind that it takes to actually get an engineering degree. And there are people, there are people, there's always those students who, you know, they, they take engineering classes and they get those 4.0s. You always have a couple of those in every class. But let me tell you, even the ones that get C's, end up with jobs and careers. C's get degrees, right? I'm not saying grades don't matter because they certainly do matter, 
but you just have to get through it. You cannot give up, my friends. It's like the old joke, what do you call an engineer who got C's? An engineer, right? An engineer. You just have to get through it. So if you're watching this video and you're an engineering student and you're struggling and you feel like all your classmates are struggling and you feel like all your classes are curved and the teachers are terrible and the homework is ridiculous, welcome to the world of engineering, right? Engineering is brutal. It is brutal. And there's lots of people who say, oh, it's easy. They're all lying, my friends. Engineers don't quit. Real engineers don't quit. That's what separates people who make it in engineering and people who don't make it. You know, it is a fusion of math and physics with, I just, the classes are incredibly hard. And you know, the, the funny thing is, I look back, I think about all the students I had as a teacher who studied engineering, and there's quite a few. Some of them are in graduate school now at top schools. Some of them have jobs. And a lot of them were just okay students. I mean, they, they, they did decent. I wouldn't say they're the top students, but they made it. Why? Because they didn't give up. So you cannot give up. If you want to work as an engineer, if that's what you want to do with your life, then keep pushing forward. On those days when you have a homework assignment you can't figure out, or if you're taking a class you hate, you just got to get through it. Do not give up. Do not give up. You can do it. Because when you look back 10 years from now, you're going to thank yourself for not quitting. Because you'll look back and you will be an engineer. You will have that degree. And I think that's, that's all I want to say in this video because I think that a lot of people don't realize that it's hard for everyone, right? And that's what separates, that's what separates the people who make it and the people who don't. Real engineers don't quit. And I think they're just built differently, right? You have to be built different. You have to really want it. And you have to just really be able to suck it up, put up with the hard assignments, put up with the ridiculous work workload, the confusingness of it all, the struggle, the pain, but it's worth it, you know, it's worth it if you want that degree, it's worth it. And you gotta do the math, you gotta do, the, you gotta do all of it, my friends, so do not give up, do not give up. If you wanna learn math, check out my courses and books, links in the description. But the message here is, you know, real engineers, they do not quit, they do not give up, and they keep pushing forward no matter how hard it gets. And in the end, you know, in the end, if you make it through, you'll end up with a job, right? And, you know, engineers, they make pretty good money. You know, I mean, it's a pretty high paying job. When I was a student, you know, all my engineering friends wanted me to study engineering. They, they all would try to convince me, why are you doing math? You should be an engineer. Why? Because engineers make more money, right? And let's be real. You need to make money to live in the world. So I think engineering is a great major. If it's something you're pursuing and you're struggling, just don't quit. Real engineers don't quit. You will make it, my friends. Stay strong.